सिस्टम ऑफ राइस इंटेंसिफिकेशन अबाउट दिस कोर्स द सिस्टम ऑफ राइस इंटेंसिफिकेशन नोन बाई इट्स एक्रोनिम एस आर आई इज गेनिंग पॉप्युलैरिटी अमोंग पैडी फार्मर्स इन सेवरल स्टेट्स दिस मेथड हैज द पोटेंशियल टू इंप्रूव प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ लैंड कैपिटल वॉटर एंड लेबर साइमल्टेनियसली दिस सिस्टम डेवलप्ड इन मेडागास्कार इन द नाइनटीन एटीज हैज बीन ट्राइड सक्सेसफुली इन ट्वेंटी फाइव कंट्रीज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एस आर आई इज अ सिस्टम ऑफ ग्रोइंग राइस विच इन्वॉल्व प्रिंसिपल्स दट एट टाइम्स radically different from the traditional ways of growing rice it involves planting of single and young seedlings with care instead of conventional method of multiple and mature seedlings from the nursery sri spaces rice plants more widely and does not depend on continuous flooding of rice fields it uses lesser seed chemical inputs and promotes soil biotic activities in and around the root zone due to liberal applications of compost and weeding with a rotating hoe that aerates the soil these changed practices with low inputs lead to enhanced yields with considerable savings of inputs especially the water which is becoming scarce over the years module 1 rice production scenario in india and water and irrigated rice at the end of this module we will understand rice production scenario in india sri history water and irrigated rice per capita water availability in selected countries lesson 1 rice production scenario in india rice is the staple food for more than half of the world's population and plays a pivotal role in food security of many countries more than 90% of the global production and consumption of rice is in asia As for India, rice is not only a food commodity but also a source of foreign exchange earning about 11000 crores annually. Since attaining independence in 1947, India has witnessed a remarkable progress in rice production. There has been one and a half times increase in the area from 30 to 44 million hectares. The productivity increased 3 times from 700 kg per hectare to 2000 kg per hectare. and the total annual rice production of the country has increased more than four times from 22 million tons to 90 million tons growth trends in rice area production and productivity during the last five and a half decades are given in table 1 table 1 growth trends compound growth rate percentage of rice area production productivity and area under irrigation during the period 1950-51 to 2004-2005 currently mainstream technological options to improve rice production focus mainly on selection of varieties introduction of improved seeds including genetically engineered and high yielding varieties crop nutrition and weed pest and disease control interestingly system of rice intensification sri is an alternative that does not depend on such agronomic tactics this all encompassing system complements these requirements lesson 2 sri history the system of rice intensification was developed in madagascar and popularized in the 1980s by henry de lolleni a french jesuit priest developed quite experimentally and inductively sri is not a standardized technological method more importantly it is a methodology for comprehensively managing resources changing the way land seeds water nutrients and human labor are used sri is an amalgamation of multiple beneficial practices that father de lolleni observed based on the current rate of population growth 1.4% and per capita consumption 215 to 230 grams per day the projected demand for rice by 2025 would be around 130 metric tons respectively the rice production has to be invariably enhanced by more than 2 metric tons annually to meet the future requirements the projected demand has to be met in the background of declining land and water resource scarcity of labor and costly inputs which are making rice cultivation too expensive
Reducing the cost of cultivation and making rice cultivation more profitable to the farmers is the need of the hour. Among these constraints, water scarcity will pose a major threat to rice cultivation and all out efforts are needed to enhance water productivity and to ensure production of more rice crop from every drop of water. Lesson 3. Water and Irrigated Rice Irrigated rice occupies 50% area and contributes nearly 70% to total rice production of the country with an average yield of 3.1 ton per hectare. India's food security largely depends on irrigated rice which consumes nearly 50 to 60% of our finite fresh water resources. Flooded rice requires 900 to 2250 millimeters of water, average 1500 millimeters, depending on the water management, soil and climatic factors. It is estimated that rice needs about 3000 to 5000 liters of water to produce 1 kg of grain which is 3 to 5 times more than for other cereals like wheat, corn, etc. The expenditure towards water alone for 20 to 30 percent of the total variable cost of rice production. Table 2. Average water requirement of irrigated rice. Lesson 4. Per capita water availability in selected countries. There is growing awareness about the need to optimize water use in rice production, which will have far-reaching effects. At constant level of fresh water availability, per capita supply of water is decreasing progressively with time. Besides, competing demands for water from industrial and urban sectors and the predicted climate changes are likely to further accentuate the impending water crisis, more so for rice production, which warrant change in the practices adopted for rice cultivation. Water is going to be most critical input in the future for agriculture in general and rice cultivation in particular. Per capita water availability has dwindled from 5.3 into 10 cube m cube per year in 1955 to 2.5 into 10 cube m cube per year in 1990 and is expected to further shrink to 1.5 into 10 cube m cube per year by 2025. See figure 1. Share of water for agriculture is likely to drastically go down from 90% to less than 60%. Rice cultivation has traditionally been in water impounded paddies and hence rice has come to be known as water loving crop. The ability of rice to survive and grow under water submerged soil and effective weed management through standing water have further given credence to this view. Hence, water productivity in rice cultivation has been the lowest. Fortunately, this aspect of rice cultivation is undergoing radical changes and technologies are being aggressively developed for more water productive cultivation practices. System of Rice Intensification SRI, Direct Seeding Under Puddled Soil Alternate wetting and drying are some of these practices. Reducing crop duration without affecting productivity is another approach. A quote from Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh's inaugural address at International Rice Congress during October 2006. Rice grown under irrigated condition is facing the threat of water shortage. This is forcing a paradigm shift towards maximizing output per unit of water instead of per unit of land. Can we come out with technologies that convince farmers to use less water in rice production without compromising on returns? This is yet another challenge for our scientists and technologists. It's a clear message for all rice workers to increase water productivity in rice cultivation. For improving productivity of irrigated water in wetland rice cultivation, the following three approaches are suggested. Enhancing the water supply, Conservation of water, increasing crop and water productivity.